everyone, it's Gabby from What's Gabby Cooking, and today we're making a spicy and smoky guacamole with spiced tortilla chips. Okay, first things first, we're gonna take some avocados. You're gonna need four avocados for the recipe, and we are just going to take our knife, cut it in half, Perfect. The recipe is out of this world because the spice from the guacamole pairs really well with chilled sweet wine. So what really makes this guacamole shine is the fact that we're using three peppers. So we're just gonna put the peppers directly over the open flame on the stove top. You could also do this in the broiler if that's more your speed. Poblanos are a little bit smoky, jalapenos definitely bring the spice, and fresnos are a tiny bit sweet. Plus, they add a pop of color. Okay, so these look pretty perfect. They're charred all the way around, and we're gonna cover that glass bowl with a little bit of plastic wrap, and that way they're gonna steam, and the skins are gonna loosen up a bit. We'll give them five, 10 minutes. So in the meantime, we're gonna add the juice of one lemon and one lime. The lemon and the lime are key to making the best guacamole because you get a little sweet, a little sour. It's a game changer, I promise. Okay, so now we are going to mash the avocado till it's about half smooth, half chunky, that perfect guacamole consistency. Next up is the red onion, and you could easily use a yellow onion, white onion, shallot, you pick. And then we're gonna do our peppers. So you can see the skins just peel right off. And then once the skin's off, you can kind of just take your knife and give it a rough dice. Ooh, this is spicy, I can smell it. <laughs> So one of my favorite parts about the guacamole is chives. Give them a really fine dice. We are gonna season this with a little bit of kosher salt, and then some freshly cracked black pepper. Final step, we're just folding everything together. And this is not complicated. Like start to finish, I would say 15 to 20 minutes you'll look like a total rock star. It's a great sweet and spicy pairing that goes perfectly with a chilled sweet wine like Sutter Home White Zinfandel or Moscato. Plus, it's great for all these upcoming summer birthday parties, picnics, barbecues, you name it. Enjoy.